what if doctors could search out and destroy the very first cancer cells before they cause a tumor? What if a broken part of a cell could be removed and replaced with a miniature machine? What if pumps the size of molecules could be implanted to deliver a life-saving medicine exactly when and where they are needed? It may sound unbelievable, but these are the goals of nanomedicine, and we may see them as early as 10 years from now. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, too small to be seen even with a lab microscope. 100 nanometers or less, that's how big biological molecules and structures inside living cells are. Jennifer West, a bioengineer, used nanoshells coated with gold to kill cancer tumors in mice. This method is more accurate, cheaper, faster, free of side effects, and less dangerous than surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation treatment. We know a lot about how intracellular structures work, but scientists haven't been able to answer the questions like how many, how big, or how fast. These questions must be answered in order to build nanostructures or nanomachines that can operate safely within the body. But once we do, medicine as we know it will be changed forever, allowing us to unlock the mysteries of human illness. You could be the optical engineer that helps to cure cancer. Twenty-five solar trees are currently converting a 186-vehicle parking lot into a 235-kilowatt solar electric generating system. It's called a solar grove. It models natural trees by converting sunlight into energy without adding pollution to the atmosphere, providing shade and looking good at the same time. The system is capable of generating 421,000 kilowatt hours per year. That's equal to the electrical needs of 68 typical San Diego homes in a parking lot. But it's only one way in which optical engineers are changing the world with solar power. Engineers all over the world are working hard to solve the mysteries of clean, renewable energy so that our Earth can be healthier and our future can be brighter without all the pollution that usually goes along with artificial light. All of this stuff, it sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. It's the future, and optical engineers are out there right now creating it. They're solving puzzles and helping the world, working by themselves and in teams. Optics has been changing the world forever, <laughs> so I expect it to continue. Uh, if you think of uh, ast astronomy back from ancient times, that's optics. That's looking at the stars and figuring out what they're doing. If you look at microscopy, and the, the first microscopes, you know, in, in 1400, 1400s or 1500s, this was, this is uh, optics, and it cured diseases. It's interesting, it can be very challenging at times, and uh, it, uh, it makes a good living, so yeah, I like it. I, I shouldn't say this, because if NASA ever finds out how much fun I'm having, they'll make me start paying them. But uh, science is so wonderful and so interesting and we're continually able to make new discoveries and to not just make new discoveries ourselves but to appreciate the new discoveries that are being made by others. My motivation it's, um, it's about when I think how it will uh, change the lives of people tomorrow the impact it's gonna have so it's like my driving force that keeps me on working yeah I like to work with young people, I mean, to introduce young people, young researchers in the team. They have a lot of new ideas. They, they can express themselves with uh, more freedom than, than we do. I manage a worldwide team. I have employees in countries in Europe and in Asia and uh, have been working with those people for years. And so the opportunity to travel the world and to really get to know and work closely with people in other cultures and other countries is, for me, the best part, I think. It's just fun for me to solve problems because it's like a puzzle. And when you get to the solution, it just gives it this great feeling. Ah, I got it. The human spirit, you know, basically wants to be happy. And if you have a job, a career that makes you happy, that's great. Actually, engineers are cool. We're the ones who get to play with the big toys. And we're actually the ones who get to design our own toys and we get to do things with our hands, and we get to shine powerful laser things, and we get to burn them, make them explode, and make them work. And we have all the cranks and toys and all the electronics put together with all the shining lights. 
And we're the ones who put those together.